I really want to talk about First Kill, Lee. I mean, you know I do too. <laughs> <laughs> so First Kill came out at the end of season five, right? Yes. And I don't know about you, but like I binged the shit out of that show. Oh, like yeah. we watched it For in sure. like two nights probably. Okay, well, it took me a little longer than that, but still uh, very, it very It was quick so bingeable. We talked about this a little bit during the crush episode, but let's just talk about, first of all, the premise. Before the show even came out, everyone knew the lesbians were going to freaking love it because lesbians love vampires. Mm -hmm. Like, we love a vampire. Also, okay, so this is based... We love a vampire hunter. I mean, like, we we have strong Buffy roots. Don't don't doubt us. Yeah, right? So I'm like, this is literally Buffy and Angel. Yes. But very But somehow less high schoolish. Is that bad? Is that a bad thing? You think that First Kill is less high school than Buffy and Angel? Yeah. Mm. Because of the sex scenes. (laughs) That's what you're. I wasn't actually going there, but you're not wrong. But that's like you're not wrong. Because I feel like it's a very high school show. What do you mean? Like they're so like stupid. Um, I stupid in their love. I feel like Angel was more of a high school girl than either of these high school girls. Okay, that is valid. Right? Yes. Like, tell me, tell me that you can't picture Angel sitting, like, underneath the gym bleachers with, like, a diary being like, I just had a lot of feelings about Buffy today, that you could picture Calliope doing that. Lies. No. Lies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. But it's like... Angel is at home with a guitar writing songs. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But I okay. feel like, so Angel is Juliet, though, in this yeah, scenario, fair, right? And fair. Calliope is Buffy. So, I think Juliet is pretty angel-like, right? Like, she's so, like, dramatically obsessed with this girl. She is. Like, it's... And he is. You're not wrong. It has, like... I think that vampires always are in in media, right? But also, I can't picture Juliet just being like, I'm going to do some Tai Chi next to a roaring fire and 500 candles, right? Like Okay, yes. We're leaning a little more into, like, the... Vampires are just like us, not like yeah. vampires live underneath the ground in a mausoleum. Well, and it's also, okay, sorry, I, we're, got, we're going so far too deep in this already, but you know what I do enjoy about it? Even though from a premise standpoint, I understand it 0%, but one of the things that they just glossed over whole wholeheartedly in first kill that i'm like fascinated by are the logistics of them having children because the whole generation right like juliet has a family that includes like her parents and her older sister and her grandmother and they're all like generationally age appropriate and i'm like did you make vampire babies and is that how vampires make babies in this universe so and if not what because what's really what i love about it is it allowed them to give us two age appropriate teenagers having the relationship and rather than a 500 year old yes, man avoid hiding over a 60 and, year old and <laughs> and twilight issues of having like a teenage girl who's in love with a 600 year old man who should yes. have no interest in a 17 year old that always gets kind of problematic and icky and this didn't because you're just you get to just be like I guess she's also 17 a eh? yeah Fine. why not sure so I was under the impression that if you were a legacy vampire you were born and Which if you were they never explained and it. if it you were no sense and if you were not a legacy it, it would be like you were created that's what I thought like legacy vampires have to be like birthed that's what I figured I don't know <laughs> Just trying to picture the kind of cravings you have uh, during your pregnancy as a vampire. Anyways, that has been, I've, we've gone, hello, everyone. Welcome, Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Well, okay, so let's talk about a few things, though, that we like okay. about the lesbian rep in First Kill. The sex against a tree. Here the sex Did scenes I say that we know that Lee that loves. Already. It's fine. I mean, I love that, too. You already know that Juliet is a lesbian from the beginning. Like, there's not really, yes. like, a coming out kind of scenario yes. same with calliope calliope has an ex-girlfriend that comes back to right so it's like the lesbian aspects of it aren't the issue here mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. oh, our families are feuding and we can't be together not like we're two girls and it's so hard 
And I'm a fan of that. Yes. Yeah. I am a fan of that. I'm also, like, I didn't know it until I saw, someone did make a meme um, of First Kill that I've, like, I've probably seen, but I hadn't super internalized it yet, of, like, the fell first, fell harder, right? Where they were, like, Juliet fell first, like, Cal fell harder. Mm. Um, and I do love ships that you can break down into, like, that dynamic so readily and I do love this about them because the other thing that I saw was someone who was like the first episode of first kill is so funny when you realize that like when you see it from each of their perspectives that like Juliet is like I'm in a rom-com and then Calliope is just like gonna kill this bitch yeah <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what is happening yeah because she does right like she starts the whole season being like gonna fucking kill a vampire and then by the end of the season she's like i will kill a bitch who comes near you and i'm like i love yeah. that love that for them it's cute 